Hello everyone in Facebook land. I just wanted to come to you and say that I have voted. I just got home, uh, did some early voting. Uh, I'm planning to be at work on election day, November 6, 2018. And so I took advantage of my day off to go and make my voice heard. Uh, I would really encourage everyone to do that. Um, especially people who care about the future of this country, who care about the direction the current administration is taking this country in. Uh, here in Georgia, we have a very historic chance to elect the first African-American female governor in the history of the United States. And I am proud to have cast my vote for Stacey Abrams. And uh, I just want to say what an honor and privilege it is to have voted for her and for her running mate, uh, Miss Amico, and for all the Democrats down ballot. Uh, a lot of y'all don't understand that all those down ballots are just as important as the president, as the congressman, as, as you know, all those little things. Because like right now we got Brian Kemp, who is a, a, a very clear racist bigot who is purging African Americans from v being able to vote. And this is just unacceptable. The, the, the level of com conflict of interest, the hypocrisy, I just, I don't get it. Uh, how this can be allowed to happen, how he is not forced to recuse himself from his duties as Secretary of State while he's running for the office and purging voter rolls, purging African Americans, purging minorities, doing everything he can to prevent... Because the fact of the matter is he has no ideas. All he has is his old white man mentality. And we've got to get these old white men out. Um, we just do. You know, Stacey Abrams is someone who wants to expand Medicaid so that those of us in Georgia who are living in poverty can benefit from the Affordable Care Act also known as Obamacare um, and it's 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 clearly racist these policies that these Republicans are doing um, so we have got to turn Georgia blue we have to turn the United States Congress blue we have to hold Donald Trump accountable he is committing illegal acts every single day. We've got to have accountability in government, and that's never going to happen. And by the way, uh, if Mitch McConnell retains his leadership role in the Senate, he has promised that he will eliminate Social Security and Medicare and calling these things entitlements. These are not entitlements. These are things that we have paid into since the first day we had a job. We've been paying into Social Security and, and Medicare. And right now there's a surplus and Republicans are trying to take that surplus and steal it from seniors and people who need those services as they are getting closer to retirement. We can't allow that to happen. We cannot allow that to happen. We cannot allow Republicans to once again raid the Social Security Fund like they did back in the 80s with Ronald Reagan and never paid it back. They're, they just passed trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars in tax cuts for the very rich, for the very wealthy. And to pay for that, they're trying to take away the social security that we have paid into. 
This is unacceptable. Even Ronald Reagan says that the Social Security program does not contribute one penny to the national debt. It is just being used by these greedy corporate bought politicians to take our money to take what to take the 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 funds that we have paid into social security and to give it back to the banksters to put, to put it back in wall street you know george w bush had a plan he wanted to privatize social security and then the crash of 2007 2008 happened can you imagine if he had been successful in privatizing Social Security and all those people had lost everything in that, in, in that crash? It would have been much, much worse than it was. Seniors would have not just lost their savings in Wall Street in their 401ks, they would have lost their social security. They would have had no means to survive. This cannot be allowed to happen. So please, I'm begging everyone, go out, vote, make your voice heard. But vote for Stacey Abrams. If you care about the future of your health care, if you care about the future of your education, if you care about the future of your pocketbook, of your economic well-being, there's only one person who really cares in this election. And that's not Brian Kemp. Brian Kemp only cares about billionaires who have contributed to his campaign. And if you don't understand that, you're a sucker. That's all there is to it. You're a sucker, and you're going to be devastated very soon. I love you all. Peace. Go vote.